repeat the same issues not because they don't have other issues to put across. You realize that members of Bunge here repeat issues because those issues are a key. Those issues affect them all. Let me begin by commenting about Mr. Ruto. Yesterday at the Thanksgiving ceremony in Narok, you stood and you shamelessly threatened the members of parliament that should they try, attempt to pass the, to vote against the bill, they you will see. And I'm telling you that you are embarrassing yourself. That is an embarrassment to the one person who used to steer for the devolution in Kenya. You want to kill devolution, you also want to kill the power of the National Assembly. Members of Parliament are elected by the people of Kenya. And in the Parliament, we have two sects. We must have the side of the government and that of the opposition. You cannot buy the members of parliament from your friend, Raila Odinga's side, I mean as Mio Laumoja. Then try to coerce the likes of uh, Jack Wamboka from Bumula that they must vote for the bill. And yesterday, you publicly, you are a symbol of national unity. Like in Unasimama, Unasema at member of parliament at a big Uomsuada Kuanguka at Aona. Deputy Wako Anasimama Anasema Mabarabara Zawio MP Hazita Jengwa. My question is, what is the role of the National Assembly? We must vote and pass a given bill willingly, not by force. If you see a given side uh, voting against a bill, just know that the bill does not represent the needs of the common man. Wacha kulazimisha members of parliament na atuta kupea na fasi. Because wanainji ndiyo mutu ametuma MP kwa parliament. President alipigiwa kura. Wanainji amba alipigia kura MP hako na responsibility ya kutaka maendeleo. Wewe wezi sema ati MP ati ataona. Ataona na muna gani. Which type of president is this you people elected? Mimi kama bunga la mwanainji na akuru eh, President Robert Makoha na kupea pia siku mbili with throw those utterances because they are reckless a leader who is of the highest rank of the president cannot stand to threaten wewe una threaten MPs kama nani unachoma jina yako jana ukiwa same same place in Narok Governor Olentutu stood and he told you that that they were willing to get a bill from you. Yenye wanaweza tamani wa petition. Sasa mimi naambia watu wa Naro kwa kwamba watu kama Olentutu hao hawasimami na mwananchi. Hata yeye sio MP yeye ni governor lakini anaambia president kwamba president awapee ate atoe bill nyingine apart from finance bill ya housing levy ati wapitishe ati ye ako tayari kumobilize that governors wapitishe such leaders are the ones that we don't want to mess with our country because this country belongs to us all not a few reckless leaders who are elected through back doors another issue is the issue of the governors Ruto anaua devolution na nimeanza kwa kusema hivyo kwa sababu gani devolution ama pesa mashinani ilikuja kusaidia mwananchi wa chini mwenye alikuwa anangoja maendeleo kutoka kwa national government lakini afikiwi and that's why we elected governors governors are like presidents in those counties and they must be allocated Eh, billions of shillings. Sasa wewe saa hizi umekatalia 64 billion shillings for the governors. <coughs> the month of April you owe them that 3.1 billion. The month of May you owe them that 1 billion shillings. They are trying to tell us that <coughs> in a short while the IFMIS is going to collapse. For the few who don't know what IFMIS means, 
That one means the integrated uh, financial management information system. Hiyo ni database ambaye na deal na auditing ya wafanyikazi na pesa za counties ina deal na debt management ina deal na management payment of salaries sasa hii ki collapse it means there is no money to pay the people there is no money to steer the county projects therefore president we don't beg make sure you deliver the money to the counties na shangaa sana ulitoa subsidies ukaongeza taxes hii pesa so far ume collect imefikia ngapi imefikia wapi na umefanyia nini kwa sababu uko na uchungu wa finance bill any time you stand since you were elected hakuna siku ambayo unaambia wananchi kitu ya kuwapea matumaini unawaambia vitu kama pikipiki ya stima surely how is that one a priority mtu anaanja unamwambia pikipiki ya stima kwa nini usimuondolee ushuru ya mafuta aendeshe pikipiki yenyako nayo the same way i'm wondering ulitoa hiyo mitungi ya gas ya green kwa sababu gani watu hawakuwa na, na gasi za kawaida ama hapana mbona hungerudisha chini pesa ya kurifil the gases ambazo wanaindi walikuwa nazo ndipo usimame useme hatunaleta mitungi ya green atitakuwa na refiliwa na shilingi 300 that is nonsense can you do the job that you were elected to do and you also have this reckless david president by the name gajagwa wewe kazi yako ni kubutlik president you cannot stand and give an issue that will benefit the people of mount kenya wewe ni kurudia yenye ruda anasema that's why tulikuwa tunasema watu wa mount kenya Mungetafuta kamutu kama Peter Kenneth mungekuwa mbele sana Mungetafuta mtu ambaye akosopa mungekuwa mbele sana Mimi huwa nasema huyu kijana alikuwa anaitwa Mwangi Kiunjuri angekuwa deputy president mzuri sana wa Mount Kenya lakini waliweka mtu mulevi mtu corrupt walisoma na president ambaye walikuwa makateris Nairobi University awasaidii watu wa Mount Kenya ukitaka kujua the deputy president ame abandon watu wake wa Mount Kenya angekuwa mstari wa mbele kupigania chama cha jubilee kunyakuliwa na mwenzake Ruto hapo inaonyesha wako kwa biashara na Ruto Watu wa Mount Kenya watasimama kura in future na chama gani? Watu wa Western representatives wao kama Mdavadi na huyu wa Fort Kenya anaitwa Wetangula ambao wamekataa. Nyinyi umevunja vyama za kinakuria zote zimeingia Kenya kwanza. Mnataka kuvunja jubilee wakitumia kamama kanaitwa Sabina Chege. Are you asking yourself? Where you are going to get another party yenye mtasimama upiganie haki yenu ama mnafuata tu blindly ukitaka kufaulu make sure umetoa huyu kijana anaitwa Kimani Ichungwa Kimani Ichungwa ndiye ameshikana na mtu ambaye anaitwa Kachagwa na wanajaribu kuuza Central Kenya soon you will have no voice and you tunawaambia pia nyinyi supporters wa Uhuru Kinyata It is only Uhuru Kinyata who can reclaim your party and who can fight for you. Watu ambao mliweka mbele wanalala na Ruto anawapea billions of shillings. Pesa yenye tunakatwa Ruto anazitumia kununua wabunge. Amenunua kina Ichungwa, amenunua kina Wamatangi, hawana sauti. As the senator of Kiambu, how many of you have ever heard from Senator Wamatangi? Umawahi msikia akiongea hapana wamekula pesa wamekula pesa therefore kikuyu brothers and sisters this is a wake up call please it is either you fight for yourself for as mio to assist you or you stop fighting for yourself na pia sisi wajane na sisi hatutawasaidia 
So I don't have much to say. Naona watu wamefrika. Tulikuwa wachache mwanzo. Lakini watu sasa hizi tuko wengi. It means watu wako na trust in us. Asante sana kwa ku trust sisi kama bunge la mwananchi na akuru. Sisi tuko hapa kupigania watu ambao wanalala njaa, watu ambao hawana fees, watu ambao medical bills zimepanda juu na hawana pesa. Endelea kuja hapa na support tunataka peke yake ni nyinyi kubaki kama mko kalmu hivyo na kutusikiza na kutuletea mashida ambazo mnakumbana nazo kama ni sokoni kama ni mtaani kuna issue ya insecurity we are going to fight for you we are going to present your grievances to the government by force kwa sababu serikali sio ya Ruto serikali ni ya Wakenya wote tutawapigania na tutalazimisha na ndio maana hii wiki tunaenda kutangaziwa iwapo kutakuwa na maandamano ama kama huyo president atakubali kuongea na Raila Odinga simaanisha handshake kuongea ya ku drop finance bill ndio naongelea akikubali hatutaenda maandamano akikataa ku drop na kukata hizo proposed taxes sisi tutakataa na tutaitisha maandamano vile mmejitokeza hivyo siku ya maandamano tukiitisha maandamano toka na marafiki zako kuja hapa ili tupiganie wananchi wetu ukiendelea kukaa kwa nyumba i'm telling you pia itawaulia huko na hakuna mtu atakusaidia saa hizi hata mtu akifufa ukikreate whatsapp group useme mnichangia hamsini hamsini mtu atakataa kujoin lakini atanyamaza kwa hiyo group usiraumu huyo mtu they don't have money unapata miambili, utanua unga ama utapea mtoto wa CBC pesa ya lunch ama utachangia mtu mwenye amekufa ni vigumu and people don't have money sasa maandamano ndio itasaidia sisi wa Kenya na wananchi wa bunge la nakuru